This episode of Precision Opinions Live is brought to you by Vintage Labs. Vintage Labs is a professional grade supplement and cosmetic company where each product is tested and reviewed by one of their exclusive pharmacists. Look for the pharmacist's signature on every package that ensures that the active ingredient falls within 5% of error and does not contain arsenic lead, cadmium, or mercury. We welcome you to join the Vintage Labs collection where they do the research for your health. Use promotional code LIVE, that's L-I-V-E, to receive a 10% discount on all orders at VintageLabsCollection.com. Precision Opinions Live, and uh, I'm Christian Stella. I'm the compounding pharmacist at Precision Compounding Pharmacy, and uh, very special guest today, Peter Maino. Peter Maino actually works at NYU Langone, and um, Peter, thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. Of course. And uh, Peter, you came on. And uh, you came to this rotation site. You had some background in compounding, which is really cool. It was interesting for me. You actually taught me a little bit about something that we're, we're diving into. So I appreciate you for that. And, and um, thank you. And Peter's very interested in the topic. So we're, we're, um, we're doing a lot of professional grade supplements here. And we, you, you hear that word getting thrown out. You, you hear it out of my mouth all day. <laughs> Um, so professional grade this, professional grade that. So one that we use very often is something called endol 3 carbonyl. So today we're going to talk about that a little bit. Um, first being, let's discuss professional grade. Mm -hmm. What what does that what does that mean? So as far as I know, professional grade supplements are ones that are pure in their active ingredient and they don't contain things like binders or dyes or other impurities that. You know, it can be marketed without regulation, but these ones have were made sure that they don't have these things in them. Yeah, it's interesting because you walk into a CVS, you see tons of different brands of vitamins. By the FDA standard, they don't need to test it. Mm -hmm. So these ones we know are tested for impurities, and we often see them in doctors' offices. Doctors actually have them because they trust these brands. Yeah. Um. So. An example of a brand that I like is called Vintage Labs. I know you hear that name coming out of my mouth a lot. Um, so, endol 3 carbonyl. What, like, explain where it comes from because we know it's coming from nature. Yeah. So, endol 3 carb carbonyl is a um, der cruciferous vegetable derivative. So, that is th something like, you know, broccoli, uh, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, things of that nature. So, it's coming from there and we're... You know, taking that ingredient out and super concentrating it into a supplement to be this supplement that people can take. Okay. Um, and it's funny because I always get that question. Oh, can I just eat broccoli? <laughs> it, it, it's a lot more potent. Um, yeah. Endol 3 carbonyl. So endol 3 carbonyl is also, we hear something that's associated with endol 3 carbonyl is dim. So explain what dim is. So... DIM is actually a compound that comes from indol 3 carbonyl but so the way that works is that indol 3 carbonyl in your stomach is something called a pro drug. So in your stomach, the stomach acid helps indol 3 carbonyl convert into DIM and DIM is actually the active ingredient or the active form of the drug in your in your body. So it converts in there and then it can go about and do what it needs to do. Exactly. So the, you have DIM. You have endol 3 carbonyl converts into dim by the gut. Um, what does it do? Like, why do we use this? And why do I use it? Mm. So, the main reason, the main usage of endol 3 carbonyl is uh, cancer prevention. And the way it goes about this is through estrogen regulation in the pathway. So, Estrogen has the, or estrone has the ability to convert into something called 4 hydroxyestrone, which is cancers. And the way that this supplement takes care of that is that it prevents the estrogen from converting into that bad derivative and it pushes estrogen to convert into more safe, you know, derivatives that can be in our body and be helpful to our body. Good. Yeah. So, I mean, the way I explain it to patients is it's somewhat of a safety net. 
we still test their lab, labs to see their 4 hydroxy estrone. We look at their estrone levels. So we're looking at everything. But this is a nice safety net to make sure mm. they're not converting so much. Yeah. And even people, we know there's pollutants out there. there there's estrone um, derivatives in the air and plastics and meats. So we need to be very careful. Yes. And also actually something interesting to mention was that in a study I found um, – if indole 3 carbonyl was given to some, a patient after cancer had been found, it actually led to promoting the cancer's growth instead of preventing the cancer. So that's just something important yeah. to look at in the future about whether we should be giving this to patients. And that's very interesting. It's something that we will look up in the future, asking and monitoring if patients have cancer or had cancer. So mm-hmm. we want to, we don't want to give it to them. Yeah. Um, yeah, when we're, we're, we're taking anything, we want to make sure that there's no potent side effects. So what about those? So side effects for this supplement, um, nothing really crazy out of the ordinary, just some, some skin rash is possible or some diarrhea. Um, and also it could be seen to have like some effect on like liver function tests increasing, but nothing major that would cause real problem. But that's about it. Okay. And I know you, you, you scooped up some information on... Um on the the interaction with certain drugs yes so just something to be aware of um endl3 carbonyl has the possibility of increasing some enzymes in your liver and how fat how much they are and how much fast they work so some drugs will get eliminated faster and not have a really great effect and drugs like that would be you know, like uh, some antipsychotics like haloperidol lanzapine uh clozapine cyclobenzaprine and things like that Mm. but just something to be aware of you might need to increase the dosage on those if they don't work as well as they used to if you start taking the supplement but yeah Mm. and that's something that's monitored when a patient comes in looking for endol 3 carbonyl or we need to give it to them because they have a higher estrone level or we are giving them uh uh by estrogen or estradiol Mm -hmm. another thing is when patients are overweight, they tend to absorb more estradiol, which could be converted down the line into estrone, 4 hydroxyestrone. So we may give them, if they're overweight, um, endol 3 carbonyl before we give someone that is not obese. Yeah. So um, it, it's ve- very interesting and it really helps people. Mm-hmm. And the interactions, just a few other ones that I I've thought I found online was that. Um, something called so like antacids and like ppis they can both um mess with the ph of your stomach acid Mm. so normally your stomach is a very acidic environment um and it needs the supplement needs to convert into its active form it needs that acidic environment Mm. like we talked about before with dim and if you're taking these drugs then it could make your ph more basic which would prevent indole 3 carbonyl from converting into its Mm. active form so that could reduce its effects and it makes sense it makes sense because that's where that conversion happens Mm -hmm. so if we're using something that messes with the gut we're going to mess with that conversion we don't want to do that Mm -hmm. so peter thank you for coming on the show i really appreciate it um fantastic you're going to make a a great future pharmacist and and uh keep on compounding (laughs) (laughs) Hello, this is Christian Stella from Precision Opinions Live. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our social media links. You can reach us by email at compounding at precisionpharmacy.net or our phone number 516-785-4774, extension 2 for compounding. Thank you very much. Thanks for viewing.